What's up, YouTube? All right, so this video is just gonna be hopefully a quick video. I'm going to temporarily hook up a PCM60X charge controller to the power rack and then hook it up to the computer so I can set up the voltages, bulk and float charges and all that kind of stuff and stuff that I don't want it to do, like equalization. Basically, from watching everybody else's video that is using lithium ion batteries, there's some settings in there that you can change to make it more customizable to the power wall. I would show you how to hook it up but there's like no room over there for a camera and me and a charge controller. So this is going to be the temporary install just to change the settings and then I'll do the next video. I'll hook it up over there where it's... I'll just hook it up over there. Okay? Okay. All right, let me hook this up temporarily to the power rack and then I'll meet you on the computer and we'll set this bitch up. All right, so I just installed the software. We're going to click on MPP tracker here. So up here on device control, we're going to do parameter settings and the battery type we're going to change to customized, apply settings were saved and this is where you're going to be changing um, basically your settings for the battery absorption charging and battery float charge you're going to make these the exact same because we don't want anything to we don't want any sort of float or absorption charge so if, if you're on a 24 volt system you would times these by two if you're on a 48 volt system you times it by four all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to how you're going to figure out your end voltage since mine is a 48 volts let's say i'm only gonna actually you know what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna set up the each pack for a 4.0 charge so we'll just do 4 times 14 equals and that'll give us 56 volts all right so we will do 56 divided by 4 and that gives me 14. So I'm going to change both of these numbers to 14. So if you want to raise or lower your your pack voltage, you just change these and make them the same for the lithium ion cells. All right, so I'm going to change both of these to 14. Apply. And I'm going to raise this one up to 14. Apply. And the max charging is 60. I'll just leave it there and the constant voltage charge time. Peter's video, he said to change this to five because that's the lowest you can go. And apply. Settings were saved. And we're gonna disable the equalization because we don't need to do that for lithium ion batteries. So equalization is off. All this other stuff will be disabled. And I think that's pretty much it. Rated battery voltage, you could change this to 48 if you want. I just leave it on auto. So we'll close that and it tells me my pack voltage right now is 52.66. So there you go. That's really all you need to do. All right. That's all set up and that's it. Just close it out, let it go. All right, that was easy enough to set up. There's just a couple of settings you got to change and then disable a few other settings and that's it. You hook it up and go. And don't forget if you need to change your pack voltage, you gotta change both of those. Otherwise, that's it. All I have to do is hook it up to the power rack and start charging. Speaking of charge controllers, you know, it took me quite a bit of time to save up a little bit of money and get a charge controller. I even had a few people donate some cash. So again, thank you very, very much. So after I ordered the charge controller, I believe it was on a Friday. Two days later. Two. Eric Fryman, which is another YouTuber, and he's also on the DIYPowerWalls.com forum, decided that he wanted to donate a PCM60X to me. Can you believe that? 
before I accepted. All right, so how it went was I ordered the charge controller on a Friday, and then on Monday I received the shipping confirmation that it has been shipped. Five minutes later, Eric Fryman, he asked, of course, if I had already bought a charge controller because he had one just sitting around doing absolutely nothing, and he wanted to donate it to me. So, of course, I'm in a panic to see if I could get a hold of the MPP guys on eBay where I bought it, but they already sent me the confirmation, so it was on his way. So I, of course, wrote back to Eric and said, hey, I just ordered one. I wanted to let you know, so I'm not trying to pull one over on anybody or anything like that. I did order one and I did just get the shipping confirmation, but I would gladly accept your PCM60X charge controller if you wanted to still donate it to me. And then of course being a super awesome nice guy he said yeah I would love to send it to you I have not donated to anybody's channel or anything like that I haven't done PayPal I haven't done any sort of Patreon so this will be my contribution to your channel. So one of the stipulations was I would pay for shipping which I had no problem with at all. Two days later he he sent me another private message with a picture of the receipt. He already sent it. He paid for shipping and he did not want anything in return, except he wanted a huge shout out. So shout out to you, Eric Fryman. So now I have, well, that's four. So now I have two charge controllers. Can you believe this? So I was gonna do a whole unboxing video, you know, and all that kind of stuff and then, of course, this video that I was doing picked up the odd buzzing noise from the light above and it just made a horrible video. I don't know what's up with my freaking light up here. I need to get, I've got some bad lighting. So, so I'm not doing any sort of unboxing video. I was just going to show you what he sent and again, say thank you very much. And I won't be using it <laughs> at this moment. I will be using it once I get some more solar panels. So it's not, so I am going to use it. I just can't use it at this very moment. So yeah, let me grab it real quick. So here is the charge controller from Eric Fryman. He also sent, let me grab it, a wireless card that I can plug into it somehow or something. I'm not exactly sure. I still got to look up the information on it, but I think it would be awesome because if I could log into it over here wirelessly, that would be the sh So yeah, I got to figure out this, this thing. And he also sent a little uh, antenna and there is a, I have never seen one of these before, but I don't do a whole lot of serial stuff. But this, this thing is called a mini gender changer. <laughs> it's got, you know, the, the male end on both sides. I don't know, I've never seen one of these before. And so I could probably go from one cable to the next. And he also sent a USB to serial as, as well. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out and hook it up. So there's one other thing that he sent me and he wrote some stuff on the back. Let me read it to you real quick. Because you Americans love thy Jesus. And then there's a PS at the bottom. PS, my girl did not let me put it up. I don't know if my wife would let me put this up either. I don't actually have any light switches down here. They're all the ones you push, push, push the button or pull a string. This would probably be the only place I could get away with putting it. Honor thy father and mother. All right, so now I have two charge controllers. I will be using one straight away, and the other one I will be adding, sh I don't know how soon yet, because I'll have to see when I can get more panels. But holy crap, man, holy crap. I cannot thank you enough. You know what? When I first started doing the whole YouTube thing, you know, you slowly gain a little bit of subscribers here and there, and then you got like 6,000 subscribers, and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for watching my videos, watching the build, asking questions, giving me good comments, suggestions, and donating. I mean, I've had quite a few of you guys donate to help me get some of this stuff. And I, YouTube, you guys are awesome. YouTube has been very, very good to me so far. So thank you very much. And Eric, thanks a lot, man. I mean, this is awesome. I really don't know what else to say. Now let me pick them up if I can. 
Ah! Got away, chair. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next one. And I'm gonna the and um the um I and the what would I don't know if you would call it he he and and a and and um to the PC gender changer <laughs> changer and so this is gonna be hopefully the picture and then make a ridiculous face maybe I could do. I don't know. So I guess I will be using it right now. It's not bad. Not bad. It's a good workout. To the for the absorption for the battery absorb for the battery absorption. Absorption? Can't even say that. Absorb as absorption. Since the the equalization is off. Alright, so equalization is off. Come on, dude. Come down here. Sit on my lap. You're making me crazy. Device to, and put a comment down below. I don't know why. That's what everybody says. And don't, and don't forget for the the 